everybody and welcome to today's dance makers slash dance sense class. I hope you're all keeping well um, and I hope you're managing to get out for a walk every day to get some fresh air. Um, if like me you haven't done any real movement or dancing for a few weeks you're probably feeling a little bit stiff. So let's, um, before we even put any music on, let's just try and unknot our neck and shoulder muscles. So what I'd like you to do, can you just put your head forward and then look at me. Now clasp your hands, put them behind your head and have a little stretch. And then look at me. Right, take your fingertips and I want you to have a, a rub. Rub down the, the bottom of your skull and I want you to go down the neck and have a really good rub to loosen, loosen things up a little bit. Then take your knuckles, do the same with your knuckles, maybe go down the sides of your neck just to warm things up and loosen things up a little bit. All right, next thing, can you seat your elbow in your opposite hand? Take your hand, go over to your shoulder blade and have a look like a need, a bit like a, as if you were having a massage. Go down the shoulder blade, up and down, come up, come up here to your neck, Work your way up just to loosen up your muscles. Okay, try the other hand. So rest it in your elbow. Oh, there's so much clicking and cracking going on. Right, have a little go. Go up over your shoulders, up, up your neck. Right, and have a little... Oh. Right, I want you to imagine you've got some chocolate, liquid chocolate in your hands and then it actually goes through your fingers and it actually goes into your veins. So imagine what it would be like to have really lovely, soft, gooey chocolate going through your hands. It's going to go down your arm, through to your elbow, up your arm, across your shoulder blades, across the top of your back. So you're giving yourself a little bit of a massage, but remember it's like liquid chocolate. Then up to the other shoulder, and then then put it, work it way, its way down your arm, and into this hand, and then stop. Okay, hopefully that's loosened up your neck and shoulders a little bit. Right, okay, let's have a go at backs, and I'll put some music on. So for this one, we're going to Take the idea of yawning. We've done this in class before. The idea that oh, when you yawn, you sort of contract your body in. Oh, and then you stretch as much as you can. Okay? Well, perhaps you wouldn't do it in quite such an exaggerated way, but that's what we're going to do to warm up our backs. So you can, your hand can yawn, it can contract and it can stretch out. Your arm can contract and stretch out and come back. Your leg, you can do the whole body, oh dear. Or you can even do diagonals. So you could do one leg goes one way and the arm goes the other way. So this, this is your warm up. So I'll guide you, but you can do your yawns wherever you want to do your yawns. But it's a way of loosening up our backs after such a long time of inactivity. Okay, let me find the music. Um, it's a Barry Manilow one, but it's um, a piano version. I've got that really nice music from Christopher N. Hobson again. Uh, so this, well, you might remember the music, it's called Mandy, if I can find it, uh, which I can't, hang on, let's have a look. Mandy. Oh gosh, okay. Oh, here we go, right. Right, sit up nice and tall. Let's yawn the hands first. So, contract and stretch.
to remember but it's it's for our backs so in this piece you're going to be twisting you're going to be um, curving uh, you're going to be reaching uh, and scooping right so this is this is the really stupid story I've made I've made up so sit up really tall and imagine someone has come and walked up next to you so you twist you then tip back slightly and have a look at them. You look them up and down, so you look down and then you look back to the front. This person has got this most enormous tray of food, the most delicious food, all your favourite things on it. So you look again, you look up at that person and it's if you used to, to say, for me, and then you look back to the front. Meanwhile, they put this enormous tray in front of you. So you're going to curve, so if you imagine putting your tummy, tucking your tummy in, curving the back of your spine and you're looking at this tray and then you take a breath, you reach up with a big smile on your face because you can't believe what you've got in front of you, then you look down again and then you come up. Then, wow, you want to eat some of this food. So imagine it is a really enormous tray. So you're reaching out and you take something. Reach out, take something, reach out somewhere else, and reach somewhere else. And then we're going to do scoop. So maybe it's ice cream. You're going to scoop and bring it back. Scoop and bring it back. Then you get hold of this enormous tray. You come up. You twist, you give it back, and you look very pleased with yourself because you've just stuffed yourself with really delicious food. And then someone comes to your left, because otherwise we'd just be one-sided, so then we've got to twist to the left. Okay, so hopefully that story will help you remember. So the person comes along with the food, gives you the food, tip, um, curve over, look pleased with yourself, curve, look pleased, four, grabbing of some yummy food, two scoops, and then hand the tray back. Right, let's give it a go. Sit up nice and tall. for that. 
that, you could try that exercise standing. So if you did it standing, you'd have twist, look, twist, come back, twist, full knee, twist and back. Then you'd scoop up. So I show you from the side what your back should be doing. So you're scooping over when you're looking at the tray. Then it's a high, what's called a high release, scooping over, high release, and then you've got those four reaches. You can bend your knees, you could lunge forward, like so. Scoop, scoop, and then you end with the twist, back, twist. So you can do that seated or standing. Right, let's go back to our chairs for the moment. And the next one we're going to do, oh yes, we're gonna, we, about time we moved, warmed up our legs really, and, and, and our minds. So I'm just gonna do some silly marching, stepping pattern, and I want you just to follow. And, and it might work your heart a little bit as well, hopefully. Right, uh, here we go. you could always pause it pause this and do that one again right uh, oops. okay so now I want us to uh, do some plies which is awesome bends some releves which are some rises and something called batmon cloche the step of the bell which is some swings so this will work our legs, it will work help our balance, and if the back one cloche will help our um, hips. I <laughs> forgot the word. Okay, so um, stand up if you can, uh, and put your chair to one side so that you're, you're, you've got your hand on it, but you're only, you're not claiming hold of it, you're just, just sort of put your fingers very lightly on the chair so that if you do feel that you lose your balance, it's there for support. Now, I should have said this, I'm not sure I did it at the beginning. You should always make sure you've got enough space to move around. So let me make sure that I can kick my leg, yes, forward and back. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me just count, uh, check how many it is of each one. Okay, we're going to have our feet in, well, so if we start in parallel, so parallel is feet facing me, tummies tucked in, bottoms under, shoulders down, and then you look forward. But obviously I know you've got to look at me at the moment. So from your hips, can you turn your legs out just a little bit? Okay, just turn them out a little way. So that's first position and that's where we're going to do this exercise today. So you can curve your arm so you've got like a little window and you're going to go bend and rise, bend and rise, bend and rise and bend and rise. Now you may, have, may feel you don't need that chair at all. So if you feel okay without it, you could just have it there like a security blanket should you need it. Now, the way to get you up there and not wobbling is to keep your tummy tucked in, whoops, says she wobbling, and your bottom tucked under, okay, and squeeze together. That will get you 
up there. Okay, so we've got some bends and we've got some rises. We are then going to, keeping your leg turned out, um, and this is probably, you will need the, the chair now, you're going to push, imagine you've been whacked from behind, push your leg forward and slide it back and forward and back and forward and back. And forward and back. You can have your arm out to the side if you like, or you can have your hand on your hip. Now, can you hear the shushing sound? It's shushing because each time before I go back I, and, and forward, I go through this first position. I push and then I go through first. Push and go through first. And try and keep your body still. So really, you're just moving your leg, which is moving your, and your hip. You're not doing, don't do all of that, that's wrong. Try and keep the top half still. Then we're going to face the chair and we're going to do bend, rise, bend, rise, four of those. And then imagine your hand has got a piece of string attached to your leg it's a bit like you're a puppet if i do it facing and you're going to go lift and down lift 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 then you swap like so again trying to keep your from your waist upwards is really still and it's only the bottom half moving and then, depending on, if you've got one leg that doesn't work so well, you want to, might want to go back and work the original leg. But if both legs are okay, then go turn around again and do the, out, the other outside leg. So you get to use both legs. Right, hopefully that's clear, but it will all become clear as I do it. So, feet in first, stand up nice and tall, and I will find... The music. Uh, where are we? Uh, here we go. Ready? Exercise. Mm -hmm. 
Right, we did plies, we did releves, and we did the step of the bell, that one crush. Okay, now, this is the time where you should have a drink of water if you haven't already had some water or some squash or something, just to rehydrate your muscles. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to create a dance and we're going to use all of them, not all of them, some of the movements from the warm up and you, again, it's a little bit looser, so I will give you the words and you can interpret the words however you like. Now, this can be done sat down, I'm going to do it standing, but you can adapt this to, um, to seated. Right, but I'm going to get the chair out of the way. So, this dance consists of four yawns, uh, eight counts of having the chocolate running from one hand across your shoulders into the other hand, two scoops and four swings. So I'm going to do my interpretation of those words, but you don't have to do the same as me. You can create your own sequence. But for me, for the four yawns, um, I'm going to do stretch out, come in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Okay? So you might want to do some out, you might want to yawn with your just your arm, you might want to yawn with your leg. So it's 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 creative, so you decide what you like to do. So four yawns, then you've got the chocolate in your hand, and it's going through the upper part of your body for eight counts and it ends up in your hand. And then the next bit is two scoops. So I'm going to do scoop, scoop. But again, your scoops might be forward. You might want to do them up there. It's your dance. So you can interpret it how you want to interpret it. Um, should we do that much so far? Four yawns, uh, eight counts for the chocolate and two scoops. Right, okay. Uh, here we go. Here we go. 
Ready for four yawns. and it can be slightly different each time. Right, I'm going to do it one more time all the way through and just have fun and, and dance it. Okay. Four yawns, any yawns you like. Oh. How far is the right music?
exercise has really helped you loosen up after a few weeks of not dancing. Okay, let's cool down. You can cool down on the chair or we can stay standing. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, right, just get your breath back and copy me. I'm going to have my feet in parallel, but stand comfortably or sit comfortably. Breathe in. enjoyed the session today and I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks time. Take care. Bye.